what you do is you see the quote is according to Kramer, a company known as put most believe the services is operating from inside parliament and is not paying any form of rental but this private firm continuously sends bills to the parliament services for its unknown services provided within the corridors of the house who authorized him to operate out of parliament and his business out of parliament and how much have they been billing since 2011 these questions that that need to be answered you need to contact Parliament and ask him. Following the presentation of the damages assessment report by a committee, damage cost settles in at 8.5 million kina. But two sectors in the report make up a huge chunk of the total bill 5.5 million kina for elevator damage and 2.26 million for the electronic locks. They have to disclose how much has Parliament been paying these Port Moresby lift services. And I also confirm from those technicians that. Or well, most of the work is outsourced to Otis, who actually own the lips. For the opposition stronghold, the Medang MP is not settled with the assessment damage report. He says he has been checking every day at the Speaker's office for a glance at the financial records of the House. And so this obviously, it's a scam. Yes? It's a false claim. And the members, the Speaker, the clerk, everyone who put this report together now has to answer questions. According to the outspoken social media personality, this is the launch of another battle against corruption in the country. His statement has strong backing with calls to the Speaker's office and those involved in compiling the report to come publicly and verify the bills. And the evidence is overwhelming. The issue now is they've been hiding records. And so now I am forced to now, in addition to my uh, role as a parliamentarian and member for the day, now I have to go to court and find, get a court order to get access to these records. The Speaker and Parliament Clerk's Office are aware of Kramer's statements but are yet to respond. Jack Lopava Jr., National MTV News.